Hello, it's Lord Joy. So, um, I was asked on YouTube, um, what I think I have instead of having schizophrenia. And, um, I think what I have is, um, here's the deal. I was raised homeschooled and sheltered. So I didn't have many interactions with people and I didn't really learn how to communicate very well. And, um, my parents didn't really know what they were doing. I mean, they kind of did, but they didn't know everything. And so I don't really have the school knowledge that I need to, to, um, have those conversations with people and make it feel like, make them feel like it's organized. Not like it's not organized, but it just, to them, it doesn't feel like it because it's not the way they were raised to hear a conversation. And so that's, I'm a different person. I'm not you. So I'm not going to talk like you. So... The way I phrase things is not going to be the way you phrase things. And, um, learning that people with schizophrenia, like, they will go off on these extreme tangents of how they think the whole universe is in their, this, like, scheme of something, and, um, Like, they can be affected by things, I guess. Um, which, I went through a period where I was wondering why I can't be affected by things, but why isn't that normal for a person to go through? That's what I'm thinking. Like, okay. We all, there are a certain number of people that survive to a certain age. And... In order for there to be consistency with that, there has to be a divine being planning that out. And testing God is not the way to go. What people with schizophrenia have is they tested God where they were like, oh, why can't I be affected? And they went and did something that was like testing God to see what he would do. And um, that's what I did. And so I don't think it's necessarily a mental disorder. I think it's the result of testing God and he doesn't like that. Um, but a mental disorder is something people can't get over. And that's the thing, like, people can get over this if they're consoled the right way, if they know that certain things don't last, and that they need to just buck up and listen to people when they say you gotta, gotta take care of yourself more than you gotta chase after fantasies. And that that's the thing person with schizophrenia is just a person chasing after a fantasy. It's it's not necessarily a chemical imbalance in the brain. It's just a decision that was made a long time ago to chase after a fantasy. So, and some people don't want to get over that. So, there are some people that decided to do some horrible things instead of getting over whatever thought processes had gone to in, into their mind at the time. Like, that's the truth. And, um, bottom line is doctors and psychiatrists and people like that, they make a lot of money off of people that have this disorder. So, 
that's why there's so many people with the disorder. So, yeah. I mean, that's just the reality. They wouldn't have a job if there weren't people like this. So, they're just praying weak people. That's what I think I have, so. Anyway, take care. Thanks for asking, by the way.